Hey guys, um, welcome back. It's uh, Tutorial Tuesday, and I want to do these uh, tutorials every Tuesday. But I need you guys to tell me what kind of tutorials you guys want me to do. So, um, for the first one, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to teach you guys how to gun sync really well and so create something like this. This is a better uh, example of what you guys were making. Alright, so so you see how the uh, gunshots synced up with the bells, and um, that's what you want, and it makes like a really good feel to the video, and just shows how good you are. Shows how good of an editor you are. So you want to open up After Effects. That's a Mortal Shop, but... After Effects here, and you want to import your clip. So I'm gonna import um, the M21. So you, let's just import everything you need. So the M21 video, the um, your song, and the M21 sound effect. So you're gonna need all these to make a uh, footage like that. So you want to get the song. So I'm gonna go to my music. And I'm going to choose a pretty easy song to do this, because it's just showing you what to do. I'm Official by Clams Casino. It's a really good song, guys. So, these are the things you're going to need. So, let's start off with a uh, new composition. And you want to call it um, Gun Sync, I guess. Alright, so, you want to have the HD uh, 720, or depending on your footage, it could be 1080, it doesn't really matter. The frame rate could be 29.97, but I feel like uh, the uh, 60 uh, frames per second, it looks way better with Twixter, but that's for another case. So, so we have that, and we want to import your M21 video, so just put it down here, and it should, yeah, go right in the middle. So, it, it is a 720 video, but I'm just going to scale it down to make it look tighter. So, 67%. So, that looks good. So what I first do when I want to gun sync is I want to do the color corrections first. So let me just get up to 100. And um, so I'm just going to do that real quick. So looks. And let's just do this real quick. So I'm just going to put some curves in. Nothing. I'm not going to do some crazy color corrections because I already did a tutorial on color correction. Alright, so that looks good. And I'm just going to put the vignette and the soft edge there we go and press ok so it looks a lot better but you really can't do it with the color correction so whatever color correction you do don't like turn it off like that so now you have just your just your your clip so you want to go to your song add in your song and look at the audio waves so this comes in really important. So while you're doing this, you want to turn off your your clip like that. And you look at the highs and lows of your song. So dubstep and all those other ones are really easy to do. This one's a really easy song. So I, I encourage you guys to use this song. So I'm just going to do like six of them. Like this. <coughs> Four, five, six. So you have six shots right here. So now you want to play back the song and see how good it is. All right. First, you want to turn off the audio from the the gun, the audio from the clip. So you see how every time. Like a um like the beat hits it it would be on that triangle so that's what you want so that marks where you want the uh, the gun sync to happen so now you want to turn on your song or turn on your clip and you want to go to your effects and you want to look up you need you do need Twixter for this guys 
I use Twixter Pro because I don't know, I'm a pro. Just kidding. So, you want to go to the beginning, or one frame in. So, one frame in, and you go to 100. So, make a keyframe there, press U to show all keyframes. And so, just go like, I don't know, like a few seconds before. Uh, like here. Oh wow. Actually, you want to go pretty far back before he takes a shot. So this is how you um you tell when the person takes a shot besides like by looking at it. So it, it's best. It's the easiest way is to look at their ammo. So I'm gonna put it all the way to full so we can see it better. All right. So I'm gonna make a keyframe here just for a reference point. And you want to go all the way to the end on top of the triangle. And you see how all of it's gone? So you want to slow it down here. So let me make another key point so it slows down instantly. So two key points. Okay, fuck. Two key points like this far apart. Okay. Right here would be fine. Here, and you want to go all the way to the end. So he hasn't taken a shot yet. So right now he lost all his um he used all his shots already in like four seconds. So you wanna slow it down really slow. So little ten. And you'll see he just took a shot, so you wanna find out where he took that shot. So it's like it's like right here, which is pretty close, but you still wanna slow it down a little bit. Actually, yeah, uh, just a little bit. So instead of ten percent, it would be like seven so we plug that in and we'll see that it's too slow so now you want to go back in and go put like nine see how that looks and that's right on top of it so you see how the gunshot happens right there so you want to go one keyframe before your your triangle where you want the gun sync to happen so you make a keyframe and then you go right on top of it and you make another keyframe for the next shot. So let's zoom in right here. So we want to go. Let me just make this a little tighter. So you make that right there. And now you want to figure out um, if you shot again. So let's scroll through, this, scrub through this real quick. So he hasn't shot yet. That's the first shot, and he hasn't shot yet. So it has to be a little bit faster than that. So instead of nine, we'll go up to like say twenty. Alright, see how that looks. So, they're still missing one. So, the third one right here has to be gone. So, it's still a little bit too fat, too slow. So, 24, maybe. And still nothing. 26. Alright, still nothing. Let's try 30 then. Alright, so the shot was taken. So, but where? The shot was taken right, like, right before it. Actually, like right on it. That's good enough. Good enough for a demonstration. So, make a keyframe here, and you go to the next one, and make another keyframe here. And now you go all the way to the end, to the next one, and then you want to figure out where they shot, if they shot again. So, just to like, uh, let me, let me just make this half. All right. So you want to figure out where he shot again, and he shot. He shot like right here, which is pretty, it's too, too early, so you want to slow it down some more. So it'll be like 25. So make this keyframe right here, 25. And let's see. He shot, uh, that's good enough. And then you put it here. If you got like a tighter it is, like the tighter the line, like the, um, the points where the shot are taken, the better it look. So right now it's just a rough draft. It's really rough. So, so this is the last one, I think. Or there might be one more. Let me make this a little tighter here. Alright, so, did he take a shot? Yeah. So, no, he didn't take a shot at 25, so you want to make that a little bit faster. So, you're going to make this about 30%. So, yeah, so you're missing a bar, that means one, um, he took a shot, but when? So he took it right on top, which is really good. So that's what you want. 
and come over here make another keyframe and let's see if we have another one yep we have one more so come to the end oh so, so he took a shot and I think it was a little too early did he take a shot? yeah he took a shot but I don't know when right here oh so he took a shot right here so now you want to like figure out how slow you want to make it so you're, you're right here and you want it there so mm, I'm gonna make it go I'm gonna say about like let's try 20 for now so just keep on playing around until you get it right on top of it and now he takes a shot there so I'm thinking it is like 10% there's 10 now the shot will be uh, just a little bit before it, so make it like 8. And now, it's here. Uh, it's a little too late, so... Ten, 10's good. There's 10. Alright, so now you want to come it's right before... Right here, and make a keyframe here. And if you want to keep on going, you just keep on doing what I do. What I did. So, now... Ugh, there's one more. Fuck it. I don't, I don't want to do that one. So that's it. And now you want to zoom in again. So go all the way to the beginning, which is home. But I don't know how to do that. So you want to go to your first shot, which is right here. Go right on top of the triangle, which is right there. And then you go to your project file and grab your M21 MP3. And you want to look at the audio, the audio waves to see when he took a shot so it, it's right here so control shift D to delete on the um the PC and command shift G D for you to do it on the Mac and we'll just drag that there and duplicate with control D or command D and line them all up with your shots cause Twixter will remove your audio so but that's no big deal alright so now we want to fit to 100 make this a little bigger for you guys and now I am going to let it render out for you guys to see so this is what you guys are gonna make which is I don't know I, I hope you guys like it Alright, so you see the shots are happening. Twixter is taking effect. And there's the shots. This is about a five second animation. No, not five, like ten maybe. And I can't really see from here. So you can. So it is tedious. It really is tedious. But the reward is really good like it looks great and again the song is uh, my I'm official and it's really easy to do I I really recommend you use this song first and use um a sniper rifle clip cuz it's just one shot instead of like a fully automatic AK74U or something so M21 would be pretty like use this clip it's pretty easy I'll have a link to the my uh my final product before my entry so guys so let's see the end yet nope alright there it goes so oh my god what's going on Alright, hold on, let me make the work area a lot smaller, so my computer doesn't have to render that. Alright, so it's all rendered out, see if it works. So, you see how every, like, high note on the song created that sound. So, if you bring that down, so come down here and we change the audio levels to say negative five so we can hear the song better
<laughs> it just gives it that beat feel, like the song, like the, the the gun sounds are actually part of the song. So guys, thanks for watching. Please like, favorite, subscribe for more tutorial Tuesdays, and tell me in the comments what what else tutorial you want. For the next one, I'm gonna do um trying to like like 3D letters in 3D text and After Effects without using like CS4 or anything like that. Alright guys, thanks for watching and peace.